Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Mike with the Benzoi Effect Channel. We're going to do a really quick, simple install of Spotlight. It is by Alex Guire. It's probably one of the most downloaded plugins on the particular site because it's so popular, but a lot of people mess this particular part up. I'm going to show you how quick and easy this is to install. And before I get started, guys, be sure to like the video, guys. I'd really appreciate you logging into YouTube and taking that time to do that. And leave a comment down below, guys, if you want to see more tutorials kind of fast and straight to the point like this one. So what you want to do is go ahead and fire up your main game directory, pull it up. And uh, my install pathway may be a little bit different than yours, but just you probably know how to get there. And then pull up Spotlight that you just downloaded. Go to Plugins folder only, this folder right here, pull it up. And then what you want to do is take Spotlight Resources, pull it right into your Plugins folder, and then Spotlight.dll, pull that into your Plugins folder. And you actually just installed Spotlight. Now there's one little important thing I want to note here is you could go into Spotlight Resources right here, and these are called config settings or INI files. And you can actually go in here and you can change the editor key and these kinds of things. The toggle key, you can actually change that key in case it conflicts with another key that you have in game. So just kind of keep uh, be aware of that. And then they do also have some offsets right here. If you want to experiment with that, I found that most of the time they do work for most vehicles. But if you do happen to have a vehicle that the spotlight's just not showing up properly, you can come in here and mess with the actual offsets for the, for the different actual vehicle you're, you're working with. So I just wanted to point that out. So one more thing I want to show you how to get this to show up properly. This is where most people mess up. When they go to fire up Rage, what you want to do is uh, click on Rage, double click it and hold down shift key for approximately two to three seconds. You're going to get your Rage menu. Go to plugins right here and you'll notice that spotlight is not checked off. And that is by default. This is what gets loaded into the actual Rage plugin hook. And this is what you need to tell the Rage plugin hook to do. So we want to make sure that Spotlight is being loaded and then we're going to save and launch and I'll show you what it looks like in game. Okay guys, here we are in game and uh, once it gets a little bit darker, we can see a little bit better. What you want to do is press I and that'll pull up the Spotlight and you can actually use the uh, number pad keys respectively 8, 4, 2, and 6 to navigate around a little bit and you can actually put the Spotlight on different people. And the cool thing about this particular Spotlight also is you can actually tag people that are walking down the street and I'd say this gentleman right over there, say he's coming towards us. If you press the number pad three, it'll actually track him. If you look to the left of the screen, it says spotlight tracking pedestrian, 25 meters. And I'm not touching anything. It'll actually, uh, you know, turn with him, which is really nice. And you don't have to do anything. This also works with vehicles as well. So if you're out patrolling a neighborhood and you want to have to uh, keep an eye on the suspect, whatever, uh, it'll actually uh, track them until they're completely out of sight. So I just wanted to point that out. And uh, this particular plugin, like I said, is uh, very easy to install. And uh, once you get the the actual plugins to load with Rage Hook, then you don't have to worry about loading it every time. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, take care.